Hey everyone, my name is Michael Sherry and I'm at Paul Sherry RVs doing a video on a Forest River Alpha Wolf travel trailer today. This is the 29 DQ, which is dual queen beds. And I'm excited to show this to you today. When I got started selling RVs about 10 years ago, I'd get customers coming in and they'd say, Mike, we want a travel trailer with two queen beds in it. Uh, because we have two families or maybe the kids were bigger and they really couldn't fit in bunk beds anymore uh, various reasons and I would say well we have park trailers you know they're 40 foot long and you really don't tow them around the more permanent site campers that have the two queen beds they said no we want something we can tow and I was like well they just they just don't build anything like that and then fast forward 10 years <laughs> Here's the trailer that does it. So I feel like a lot of customers, this trailer will fit their needs. It does have two full-size queen beds in it and a trailer you can tow. It weighs under 6,600 pounds, has a super slide on it. And I I just can't wait until this finds those customers that were looking for that trailer because I know they're still out there. Uh, this is a Forest River Alpha Wolf made by Cherokee. Cherokee is the top producing uh, manufacturer of towable RVs and has been for the last couple years and the reason one reason is they just pack a ton of value into their trailers they're well built and all that but a ton of value into the trailers for what you get uh, money wise so it's a great deal uh, packed full of features and I'll show you some of those on this our, our alpha wolf here today three quarter front cap so what that means is this top quarter the white section is all a solid fiberglass material and then the bottom quarter uh, so the top three quarters is the fiberglass, the bottom quarter is the rock guard down here to protect the front of the trailer. This trailer does come equipped with a power tongue jack. We do fill both propane bottles up. Uh, some dealers call that prep. We just call it part of the sale. Uh, we don't charge you for that. So also we have a brand new battery on it. It's a 27 series uh, deep cycle battery. So typically uh, what's on a traveler is a 24. So it's a little bit larger on this particular trailer. And that's part of the juice pack uh, that you might see in the options on this trailer. Uh, the juice pack is a solar panel, 50 watt solar panel and uh, that big battery and a battery disconnect. Big storage compartment here. I like how they finish out even the ceiling on the storage compartment uh, and then Leno all on the floor so it's easy gonna be it's gonna be easy to keep clean. And I don't, I don't know if you notice that, but I opened this door up with one hand. So there's just a single latch and then the catch on it is a magnetic catch here. So I can do it with one hand. So which typically when you're getting in your storage compartment, you're like loading stuff in and you might only have one or no hands available. So three foot super slide uh, here. This is uh, an Alpha Wolf who's probably one of the better insulated trailers. Uh, you're gonna be able to camp in this in cooler weather, fully insulated underbelly, even the gate valves themselves. Here's the, here's the pole handles for the dump tanks. You notice you don't see the gate valves. That's because they're up in that insulated area. So all the water waste fresh water is up inside that insulated area which is what you have to have if you're going to camp in temperatures below freezing successfully I guess you can camp unsuccessfully uh, here's the rear big storage here this is going to be underneath that queen bed in the back it has the nice water heater it's uh, the water heater with the anode rod so that anode rod is going to protect that steel tank that is the water heater from corroding and it's also electric or gas on the water heater. This does have the optional flip down uh, uh, rack here. That rack can hold up to 200 pounds and it's also your spare tire uh, holder. Uh, check us out there on our website. But I always like to say, just go to Google, type in Paul Sherry RVs and don't go to our website. Check out our reviews, especially if you don't know who we are and see what other customers are saying about us. So I know when I shop on Amazon for a product, I don't know if it's good or not. I always look at the reviews. So uh, do that with us as well. Uh, two entry doors on this. So the rear entry is going to be your main entry door. Uh, it does have the deluxe mini camp kitchen here, which is going to come with your, your dorm style refrigerator. Has a little hot pocket there. That's, that's your freezer. Um, don't worry, there's a bigger freezer inside. Ice maker here. It's great to have ice. There's a water spout here. And then uh, this whole compartment mini kitchen here is all metal. So there's no wood in here. So if you leave this out in the rain, it's not the end of the world like some trailers it would be. Two burner uh, gas range top here. And that all just folds in nicely. Uh, two axles on this, both have alloy wheels. 
which is really nice and they are radial tires so there's two type of tires they put on campers radial and bias a radial tire gives you more tire on the road so more surface area some better uh, traction and stability and also radio ti radial tires run cooler than a bias ply tire so that radial tire is not going to get hot as quick and therefore it's going to last a lot longer uh, koa and force river partner together to fight uh, cancer which is awesome and by buying their product you aid in their ability to do that it's the 29 dq dual queen this is the second entry not your main entry this is going to go into the bathroom uh this door right here it goes right into the master bedroom and then that door there is going to go out into the hallway so let's go in the main entry here so main entry we walk in there's a door off to our left this is going to be the the first queen bed, first one of two, a queen bed here uh, has the pocket sliding door to separate that off so it's fully private. And then you've got your wardrobes back here, hanging closet there, shelf closet there. Here's some storage underneath the bed and storage above the bed in those cabinets there. And then getting into the living area it has the oversized U dinette, which Cherokee's known for. If you watched any of my videos, you know I get excited about that because you can actually fit four, maybe five people around there. A lot of the competition, they have U dinettes, but you can only fit three because they're smaller. This has the fold out couch for extra sleeping as well. What I like uh, from both the U dinette and the couch, you have viewing right here. Your television's going to mount on the wall. Already has the pre mount right there. Uh, so you can just slide it right on. And all your wiring is up here. So you have your audio video uh, cables. You have a separate cable for satellite and a separate cable for antenna. So it does have the antenna up on the roof to pick up those free over the air channels. All right, coming in the kitchen, we have a pantry, a 10 cubic foot Furion 12 volt refrigerator, a microwave, your oven and range down here, and then countertop. I always like to point out the countertop in this is a seamless countertop. You don't see the edge there because there is none. It's all one piece, so the edge isn't going to fall off on you uh, like they used to. Big stainless steel. It's a black stainless steel sink and high rise faucet. Uh, the stove over here is a three burner gas stove and, and gas gas range and gas stove. I don't know why I always get that mixed up. I've done this enough. Uh, subway tile back there. So that's going to be easy to clean up. It's actually a glass subway tile. All right. I'll check out this pantry. I love this. So a lot of houses don't even have pantries, but this trailer has got a big one. It's got a light in it as well and uh, four shelving uh, four shelves of storage there. All right. Uh, so a couple doors up here. Main bedroom straight ahead to the right is the bathroom. Big spacious bathroom. I don't know if I've seen a bathroom this big in a trailer. So a lot of floor space. I always like to point that out. So you can get ready in the morning. Uh, has a skylight in the shower. It's actually a tub shower. So if you have kids, uh, you can give them a bath in there. Foot flush. Uh, toilet and then the big sink you can fit your hands in the sink which that's a challenge sometimes in some campers uh, the the medicine cabinets on an angle so you're looking right at it uh, it's the little things like that that uh, sometimes they mount them flat against this wall and then it, you wouldn't be looking right at it so that's not very uh, convenient so I like when they put them on an angle it takes a little bit more craftsmanship to do that but they do it and then through this door is your master bedroom again second queen bed uh, this one you can walk around all three sides so whether you're sleeping on this side or that side you can get out without waking up the person you're sleeping next to hopefully uh wardrobes on both sides of the bed they're mirrored wardrobes so you can get ready in here in the morning too storage over the bed storage underneath the bed let me show you on this one here if i'm strong enough I've been going to the gym, so I am. Good spot for like big sleeping bags and stuff like that. And then uh, your wardrobe over there as well. So that completes this walkthrough on this Force River Alpha Wolf 29DQ. This is a 2020, uh, but this is a ladder 2020. So if you're in the market for a 2021, I'll give you a little secret. This is what it's going to look like. 
And what's great about this trailer is it's probably going to be a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars cheaper than the 2021s, even though the 2021s the same thing. It's just a newer model year. So, a uh, little insider secret there. Uh, if you're in the market for an RV, by all means, uh, give us an opportunity during your business. Uh, I'll post some links below how you can contact us uh, for that kind of information. So, thank you very much for watching. Have a great, and I mean great, rest of the day.